It's the end of another trip home. Adriana's heading from Mexico back to Canada, but this time she's taking some unusual luggage. Chicho. Hey, bebe. No te pongas nervioso. And eight other Mexican street dogs. It's part of an innovative program from NGO Backstreet Dogs. They find people already traveling and willing to take unwanted canines to new homes in Canada as part of their baggage. Like I'm just feeling I'm saving nine lives right now. So yes, I think anybody that loves animals should think about it. It all started with a problem. Gabby and Letty were rescuing lots of strays in Puebla State, Mexico, but no one wanted to take them in. It's because culture, you know, we are not a, a we are not educated, they see a dog and they say, they say this is not a, a, a handsome or a beautiful dog, I don't want it. They found Chicho by the side of a motorway, like many others in their shelter. The last time the Mexican census office ran the stats, more than 12 million dogs were living on the street. That's two thirds of the country's canine population homeless. But Gabby and Letty discovered a solution that airlines would let them fly dogs to Canada cheaply or for free as long as they could find travelers willing to take them. Now Chicho's arrived, one of more than 250 they've sent north. There's plenty of demand, especially as in some Canadian cities, you can't buy a dog at all, only adopt. After getting through the airport, he meets his new family. <laughs> oh, see, <si>, senor. <laughs> it's it's, it's going to be interesting to see if he, uh, I'm sure he'll adopt English and whatever as we go along and, and hand commands and whatever. But I, it's just, it's just right now, it's surreal to know the dog actually flew in this morning from Mexico. Okay. Finally, Chicho gets to his new home. Wait a minute. Oh, my goodness. You're just dying to come out, aren't you? From stray to pampered pet, it's been a happy ending for at least this Mexican dog. John Holman, Al Jazeera, Puebla, Mexico.